Hi, my name is Adam Wallazak, and welcome to Titanic Myths and Conspiracies. This is episode one, our pilot episode. Now, unlike a lot of other Titanic documentaries and things like that, we're actually going to go into a lot of the conspiracies and myths and superstitions, not only surrounding her sinking, but her building as well. Now, we all know that it's been over a hundred years since the Titanic sank. We all know the rough story behind the Titanic that on April the 14th, 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. and around about two and a bit hours later sank to the bottom of the North Atlantic Ocean carrying around 1,523 people with her. This was on her maiden voyage, obviously, which was absolutely tragic. And just surrounding that, there is a lot of conspiracies as well. One being whether the Titanic was sunk deliberately. We will look at that in a f future episode. Now, in today's episode, we're going to look at what I guess you could call precognition. About 14 years before the Titanic was even thought of, a man named Morgan Robinson wrote a book that he called The Wreck of the Titan. Now, the Titan was a large ocean liner. Let, let's get this straight. This is a fictional book. Uh, so he had nothing to base it off. Around about that time, um, one of the biggest ocean liners in the world was being built, um, or it had already been built. Uh, what was it called? Uh, I, I can't think of the top of my head right now. But it had been built, so large ships were coming off the um, were coming off the construction slip and um, coming into the well. Now, the thing is, these two ships, the Titan and the Titanic, were extremely similar in a lot of ways. Uh, for example, the um, the top speed of the Titan was around 25 knots and the top speed of the Titanic was about 22 and a half so look that's much the munchness um, the Titan sank in the month of April so did the Titanic the the, the Titan as well as the Titanic, didn't have enough lifeboat accommodation for all on board. There are so many coincidences between the story of the Titan and the Titanic. Now, the Titanic was only carrying 16 boats or lifeboats, and it had an additional four smaller boats, but it still didn't carry enough. The biggest coincidence between the two was the sinking. The Titan struck an iceberg, like I said, in the North Atlantic Ocean in April and sunk 300 nautical miles off the coast of Newfoundland. Now, the Titanic, get this, struck an iceberg in April in the North Atlantic Ocean and sank, you ready, 300 nautical miles off Newfoundland. That is just an eerie, eerie coincidence. Is it a coincidence? That's for, I guess, us to judge and to think about. For me personally, do I think it's a coincidence? 
look, let, let's put it this way, that 300 nautical miles off Newfoundland is where a large ice pack is normally sitting. In, in April, it is normally cold at that time, but 300 is pretty spot on when you think about that type of thing. Now, when the Titanic hit the iceberg, she was travelling about 22.5 knots. When the Titan hit the iceberg, she was going about 25 knots. So again, very, very similar. It, it's, there's a lot of coincidences. Now, the two ships did have um, very different outcomes at the end. They did sink. Um, but as we know, the Titanic luckily was able to save about 723 people uh, from the North Atlantic. Um, and they were picked up by the Carpathia. In the story of the Titan, well, there was only one person that uh, was picked up by the um, by the rescuing ship. Now, Morgan Robinson was actually interviewed uh, after the sinking of the Titanic, and uh, he strongly denied that he had any clairvoyant or um, premonitions of the sinking of a ship. He said that it was all coincidence. Look, I don't know uh, 112 plus years later, longer, since the wreck of the Titan was written, um, whether he did. We can't sit here and uh, guess on that. He's long since departed to another world, I guess. Um, but, I don't know, it, it's just something to really think about, to think whether maybe he had some sort of unknown premonition, unknown feeling. Who knows? I, I strongly do believe that there are some people out there that unwillingly or unknowingly can have these type of predictions. Um, whether he did or whether it was complete fabrication out of his head, who knows. But the fact that the name was very close, um, the Titan, the Titanic, uh, the fact that the ships were roughly um, the same length, um, roughly sank, well, sank at exactly the same point in the North Atlantic Ocean and sank in the same month really, really makes me think. I, I don't personally think that he was uh, a clairvoyant or a fortune teller, but I do think there was something in his subconscious, maybe, that was tapping into something, maybe. What do you guys think? Comment below. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this topic. Um, hopefully, in my next couple of episodes, I will be a bit longer. Um, I'm kind of a bit nervous recording my first podcast, to tell you the truth. Um, I have been studying the Titanic since I was in year three. So that's coming up over 25 years. Oh, gee, maybe longer. No, yeah, over 30 years. Uh, so I've got a very big love for the ship, the people, and the story behind it. We have to remember that the, the sinking of the Titanic just wasn't the sinking of an ocean liner. It was tragic. It, it absolutely destroyed families. It destroyed lives. It destroyed over 1,523 lives. Uh, whether she was sunk deliberately, whether she was sunk um, by hitting an iceberg, who knows. But still, 1,523 men, women and children died on board the Titanic, which I believe a lot of people tend to forget. It's all romanticised now in all these Hollywood movies that this great ocean liner sunk. But on a very, very, very cold April night in 1912, these people agonised, really struggled in that cold water 
and died very, very slow. Um, I will touch upon some stories um, in later episodes about people that uh, did stay together through the whole time, refused to get on lifeboats. Um, we will talk about people like Isidore Strauss and his wife and we'll talk about um, Bruce Ismay and um, Thomas Andrews, Captain Smith, Murdoch and all the uh, rest of the crew. And also I would love to talk about um, some of the third class passengers who in a lot of times gets forgotten about. Whether the doors were locked uh, below when she was sinking to stop them coming up, we'll look into that as well. Um, but yeah, if you've really enjoyed this podcast, please uh, let me know. Um, I would love to keep going on this. I'd love to investigate every avenue of the Titanic um, and bring all that information to you. If there's any particular bits of information you'd like to know, please let me know and I'd be happy to look into that for you. Guys, thank you so much for listening and um, I'll talk to you next time.